it's still winter. Ah, it's still winter. Ah. I'm sorry, but I gotta say this. If you dance when you eat your food, that's when you know it's good. Mm. <laughs> hey guys, good morning. So it's Felicia with Happily Ever After Living. Today is Thursday, January 12th, and I am currently about to walk 10 miles. I don't have to work today, so this is a perfect day to do it. And I'm also behind on my step count this week. I'll talk to you guys more about that later. But if you go back and look on the channel, I'll link the video up here. I did 10 miles of gratitude. I believe that was last year or 2021. I can't remember which one it was. But today, I'm going to do a walk of like just walking off my frustration. <laughs> you guys, I am a very happy person an extremely positive person but I get frustrated sometimes too and I just wanted to share a few things with you guys as I'm walking and I'm sure too that like the walk would definitely make me feel better but yeah that's what we're gonna do today so 10 miles we're gonna walk off some frustration today I'm human just like you guys are this journey is not perfect let's go such a beautiful morning such a beautiful day all right so i just finished my one oh my gosh i was so slow uh that's probably the pace i'll probably keep though but i'm just out here enjoying this walk so i was actually like messaging my friends via instagram fire by 50 if you're watching this video messaging you back and forth you got me cracking up but anyway so my first first frustration is I took time off from work and I keep like as a working mom wife whatever someone that works full-time outside of the home and is also trying to run two businesses um, I keep like a running list of things that I need to get done at home so like sometimes I'm not talking about like the day-to-day -day stuff like um, things that just need to be done so needless to say the garage was on this list and also other things like things with the dog dogs appointments my appointments like all kinds of stuff so um, one of my frustrations right now is that I took off like a full week and I feel like I did not get enough done at all um particularly the garage like the garage will be complete today but i've been off monday tuesday wednesday today's now thursday and i leave to go for a conference tomorrow so i'm a little frustrated that i'm gonna come back sunday and go back to work on monday and a ton of things i wanted to get done like they're not gonna be complete so I'll go back into another work cycle of, I don't know, that's just one of the main frustrations on my mind right now. You guys, like, just comment down below, like, if you ever feel that way, like, um, you know, I thought that, because I know how much I can get done on a day-to-day -day basis, right? And I know how much I can get done during the weekend, so I just really assumed, I assumed that I will have all of this time, which I did, but, oh, and that's another thing. So Monday, Monday, I felt like paralyzed. I made my to-do list, but on Monday, I did like almost nothing. I didn't realize the amount of overwhelm I would feel by the to-do list, uh, by it being my first day off. And even when I say first day off, I actually used that, that morning to do a little bit of work. Yeah, I just didn't realize that I would feel the way that I did and like all the things I wanted to do for my business and at home. So that's my first frustration that it just never feels like there's enough time. I guess that's what we would call this one. Yeah. totally random but do you guys see the roots on that tree i don't know that was just very interesting to me okay this is so cute today look at the ducks playing in the water oh my gosh it's so cute it's like they would run out and then run back oh someone's feeding them someone's feeding them Thank you. 
Oh yeah, so I'm not quite at mile two yet, but that brings me to my next frustration. All of our ducks are gone. <laughs> this week, what was it, Monday or Tuesday night? Anyways, the animal ate the last two ducks. And I'm pretty sad about that because they truly become your pets. And now we have no ducks. And at a time right now where eggs are mad expensive, oh my gosh. Yeah, so I'm currently at like 1.87 miles. So there's my frustration for mile number two. We don't have ducks anymore. They're so cute. And like the thing that got me is because you can kind of like see in the pen, like with the feathers everywhere. You can just kind of see like they were trying to get away. Which is, ah, oh, makes me so sad. Alright guys, so I know that I shared that I would do like 10 miles of my frustration, but I started like just thinking of like, I don't know, I just think that it's true that it's hard, it's really hard to live in a state of gratitude and complaining at the same time. And as I was walking, like I was thinking about like a lot of other things and I don't have any more frustrations to share with you guys. Like, I'm sure if I really, really thought about it that I could think of like a few other things that are kind of frustrating. But for someone that's like typically, usually always positive, it's actually harder for me to focus on like the negative things. And it's a lot easier for me to focus on the positive, which is also why that last mile, I don't think I did anything differently. Like, I don't think I was like actively, like let me walk faster. But I think just by starting to show more gratitude, like my speed probably just picked up a little bit, or maybe my body relaxed a little bit because I started thinking about like how fortunate am I that I was able to take this time off to rest so I no longer look at Monday as a day of like where I kind of wasted the day. No, I really needed to rest. So I'm thankful that I had Monday to rest. And then regarding the garage, like how blessed am I that basically because the time that I took off um, has been paid time off. So basically, sometimes you have to change your mindset and the framework at which the way in which you think about things and so technically I got paid to stay home and clean my garage like how freaking fortunate am I you know so yes it took longer than what I wanted but I was able to create a space that whenever whenever I go and work out in the mornings like I'll feel good in comfortable in so yeah I was just thinking about that I don't know and then and then also like even with our ducks because we started off at seven and then we had two remaining so as gruesome as it sounds at least they're both gone together because if there was like one duck then that would have been a problem because ducks don't really like they don't really do the solo thing like usually they're always like in groups or pairs so there's a silver lining in that all right guys so this walk is probably going to take me around three hours and 20 minutes so i think i'm just going to spend the rest of it just thinking about all the blessings and being in a state of gratitude and probably pray a little bit for or a lot <laughs> For my family, for my friends, for my business, for this conference that I'm going to because I'm actually a little nervous, like very introverted. I can be an extrovert when needed, but um, yeah, so I'll check in if stuff pops up and I'll continue to track each mile with you guys along the way. All right, so we've hit mile three. I wanted to share with you guys something that I did do um, while I was off was I created like if I could have my dream 
like weekday working full time, right? What that will look like for me. And then I also created my dream weekend, like what that will look, look like for me. And I did both of those for like during the work week. Um, and that was just able to, that helped me to zoom in a little bit more for whenever I go back to work to try to implement, try to implement those new things to see if I can, um, cause I just want to get like most of you, I just want to get the most I can out of this life that I have. And I want to be able to actually reach and achieve, achieve the dreams that I have for myself. So it definitely takes discipline, dedication, but I also like to play. I like for things to be fun and for things to flow and i like to do things in alignment so i would recommend you guys if you haven't done that before to just take the time and create what your dream weekday will look like as well as what your dream weekend will look like and some of you will be surprised to know that i actually have naps in on sundays Let's see if that could happen and my dream work day actually is more work <laughs> which is kind of funny, right? Like who wants to work more? But for the season of life that I'm in right now, it's more work. So like pushing my work days a little bit longer. All right, so I'm currently four and a half miles in and I just wanted to share, I needed a new tire because I do a lot of driving, like with home health. Oh my gosh, I just, I wear my tires out. And another thing to be honest with you guys, um, since the hell storm and hurricane in, I've been running over a lot of nails. So I've been going through a lot of tires, it's so frustrating. But I just called and they're able to get me in today. So that's good news, good morning. So something else to be grateful for. Definitely go further. All right, guys, so I am back home. I am showered. So you can see, same day, 10 miles. Currently have like 24,000 steps. My goal is 25,000 for the day, so that's good. So I'm currently, um, I'm, I'm like kind of craving like something salty. So I think I'm gonna make this recipe here. I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but basically it's pickles and cheese. Like those are the only ingredients. Um, this is not like my recipe. I got this from Keto is Lifestyle off of Instagram. And the blogger, her name is um, Feel Good Foodie. So I do wanna give her credit here. Um, so yeah, basically what you do is you put um, you preheat the oven at 400 and then you put cheese in the bottom, whatever kind of cheese you want. And then you put a pickle and then you put cheese and you can season it if you want to. I'm not going to do that, but I'm going to show you guys. <laughs> Okay, so the first thing that you do is you take your pickles out and then you kind of like let them dry. So I put them on a paper towel and then I'm going to pat dry them. And then, did you see me like using my hands into the pickle jar? Yes, I totally did that. These are my pickles only. So I'm not like sharing them with other people. And if you come over to my house and you want pickles, I'll probably give you the other ones from the refrigerator, not those. So don't worry, don't worry. And my hands are clean. So I'm also like pat and dry with this as well. Okay, and while those are drying, I'm just gonna take this pan and lightly spray it. Then the recipe says to use your favorite cheese. Well, in this house, you don't get a favorite. I'm just kidding. In this house, you use what you have. <laughs> so I'm going to use some of this and some of this for the first layer. Okay, so here's the first level of cheese. It is messy, you guys, I'm hungry. Just forgive me here. So half and half. 
And now I'll take the pickles, put those in there. I wonder what would happen if I put like two pickles. I'm just gonna do one. I'll eat the rest. So there's the pickles. And then let's go back over with some cheese. All right, now I've covered it with the second layer of cheese. Now I actually ran out of this, so you'll see that those are now covered with Parmesan cheese. Okay, now you put it in the oven for 400 for 10 minutes and that should be it. I'm currently at 17 hours and 44 minutes fasted. I could have been done like so much earlier today, but like I told you guys, I did reopen my window and I'm okay with that, you know? I just wanted to share that with you guys because sometimes it happens and it doesn't mean like you messed up or anything like that. You just pick up from where you left off. What I'm about to eat now are leftovers from last night like this is all that was left from this little pizza casserole thing that I made so I'm going to take this and toss it in the microwave because even after those pickle chips cook for 10 minutes then you have to let them cool which I'll show you guys that as well and then for today I'm going to leave my eating window open for four hours because I did just do 10 miles. I'm not quite sure how my body's gonna respond. I just wanna allow myself that liberty that if I do feel I need more food, that I'm able to do so. But today, I'm definitely keeping it low carb and high protein. So I'm going to go ahead and break my fast at 17.46 and fast. And I'm opening with <laughs> pickles. My food is still heating up. So what do you guys think about the fact that I started that 10 mile walk like just to get my frustrations out and I thought that I was gonna like chat with you guys for like 10 miles about um, different things that was like frustrating me but by the time I was in like mile two three like it was just gone completely isn't that like crazy the way that um, the brain works and and to be honest like the more you think about or the more you focus on like negative things negative thoughts and all of that, it just increases your cortisol levels. And and honestly, like who wants to be around a negative person? Like not to like be toxic positivity, but I know we all have our moments. I know we do, but I think a lot of you guys kind of like come to the channel for, you know, inspiration and everything. So for me complaining for 10 miles, well, actually I couldn't even think of anything else to complain about, but I just thought that was so cool the way that plasticity and everything works in the brain, you know? And totally random, but another thing that I've been kind of like reading a little bit is how cortisol, don't quote me on any of this because I'm still doing more research, but how cortisol like affects areas of the brain or impacts areas of the brain related to memory and how like there's studies out you guys can go look them up yourselves but studies about how um increased stress or just being negative overall can contribute to alzheimer's disease like i don't have any boom like this is it but i just came across it like a few weeks ago and i just started like reading more but nothing enough to where i feel like i can teach you guys yet because i still need to do more research and whenever you're doing research you want to be careful about your you want to be careful about your sources because i can say like someone could say pickles are bad for you and you could say pickles are good for you and then whatever you believe right like if you believe pickles are good for you you can go find a million articles that are going to support that pickles are good for you but if you believe pickles are bad for you then you can also find a million articles that support the fact that pickles are bad for you but um, I think my food just stopped. Hold on a second. Oh, but what I was trying to say is just be careful um, where you get your sources from. So here's the remainder of um, that pizza bake, pizza, whatever it was I made where I was craving pizza yesterday. We've got chicken, broccoli, mushroom, green onion, pizza sauce, some sugar free or no sugar added pizza sauce turkey pepperoni, just a bunch of yummy stuff in there. So before I dive into that, I just took this out of the oven and I'm going to allow this to sit for a little bit. And then once I take them out, I'll show you guys what they look. You guys, I don't know if I can do this and like hold the camera too, but look at how they come up. They really do come up like chips. How cool. 
cool is that? Look at that! Oh my gosh! Okay, obviously you can tell what kind of cheese this was, right? So I'm gonna take a bite. Look at. Mmm, it's a winner! Ah, it's a winner! Ah. I'm sorry, but I gotta say this. If you dance when you eat your food, that's when you know it's good. Mm. <laughs> it's a winner. This is good. This is good. I'm gonna go sit down and enjoy my food. As always, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to come back. Gym tour. It's all kinds of stuff. All kinds of stuff. I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Mm. Mm, 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 mm.